What's your name, boy? Hugo. Making this film was an enormous uh, undertaking. It's very emotional, and I think would be exciting for an audience to see this world that we created of Hugo Cabret. Art is great love of film history, and all he has done for the great filmmakers of the past was one of the things that was drawing him to this project. If you've ever wondered where your dreams come from, this is where they're made. No one does the characters better than Martin Scorsese and creates that world and story. It's Marty's massive grasp of storytelling and our love for stories that this film is a part of. I knew that Marty always wanted to do a tribute to cinema. So taking on this project, I think, was a huge testament to who he is and how creative he is and how far he can stretch. I was given the book of You Go Cabaret, and there was an immediate connection to the story of the early days of making movies and this man, George Melies. George Melies was the first person to say, why don't we use the possibilities of cinema to go into the world of fantasy? So Melies made fantastical movies that had special effects, that had magic tricks in them. No one had done that until George Melies said, I can do that. We wanted to create this magical world of Paris in the 20s and 30s. The Melies studio, the train station. This is marvelous. Hugo lives in this labyrinth of beautiful tunnels and dark places and the environment of the railway station with all its secret corners and massive clocks. Who has been winding the clocks? There are huge, incredible, amazingly accurate and imaginative sets. Dante Ferretti, of course, designed these sets. They were enormous. It was very difficult to do this because we built an entire train station and all the tunnels and the secret apartment. The Georges Melier studios, the inside the clock tower. We built everything in the stages and on the back lot. And we had Bob Richardson on camera. His color palette, the design of the light, the shadow and light really made it come alive. Rob Legato doing the uh, special visual effects is also part of that look. He combines that with Dante Ferretti's production design. The range of effects on this one was everything, every possible technique, every modern technique and every old technique because it's an homage to the way films were done back in the day. And the train crash is probably the most fun visual effect that we did. is quite extensive because there's so many things to draw inspiration from uh, in the story. Uh, I love this period, 1895 to 1931, so I wanted to capture all the color and the texture of the film and the music. I had to decide which of these films we were going to show being created. I decided we'll deal with a spectacular one called Kingdom of the Fairies. We thought that would be interesting to show how he did underwater sequences, and how simple that is, and how charming, and how effective it was. So we try to create the spirit of Melies in that space, using makeup and costumes and lighting, the assistant directors working out the behavior of the actors, exactly as they move in the Melies films. Action! Everything we could do to get an impression of the magic of being in that greenhouse studio. And what it must have been like the fun of you know, creating something like that every day. The joy that you see George Moyes have creating movies was just moving. The costumes that Sandy Powell did and the set that Dante recreated and the way Bob lit it and just it was just absolutely incredible. And lunge! And then to see how Marley was directing, George Moyes directing, you were there. You were back in time. This has been a real privilege to be able to recreate the atmosphere. Uh, the first films being made, you know, by somebody like Melies, who we're still dealing with right now. His influence is everywhere. What George Melies did was combine the technology of the day 
with narrative artistry to create very unique movies, which is exactly what Martin Scorsese is doing. Here is a master of the movie telling art form working with a new technology for the first time. 3D. So the greatest joy for me was watching Martin Scorsese and Bob Richardson and Sandy Powell and Dante Ferretti start working with a whole new art form, and I think they created a masterpiece. One of the things I think is remarkable about this film is that it's a gift. It gives back to people at the end of the movie. They've been given a hope. They have been given a beautiful moment of humanity. It's quite a gift, I think, to go away from this film feeling elated. I am standing before you tonight because of one very brave young man who saw a broken machine, and against all odds, he fixed it. <laughs>